when we come on to the pure understanding, the divine objectivity. Here we have the ten dimensions. Ten dimensions, or rather the point, and the nine dimensions. How many angels can dance on the head of a pin? Should really be how many archangels can dance on the head of a pin? Which is really how many degrees of vibration, of energy, freedom of movement, how many vibrations are on the string, on the vibrating string in string theory? And the answer is nine. These are the nine, the nine dimensions of those nine levels of vibration which are interconnected here. Got the first one is the focus, the mind can focus onto a point into the infinite or down into the into the trivial. From this point, from this imagination, we can imagine what the imagination could be. We can return to the pure intelligence, return to the pure spirit, the pure intelligence, sentience, cosmic, the cosmic intellect, the universal intellect, all of these words, omniscience, the spirit. So, you know, the, the array of all the superpixels, so we can focus on one superpixel. Remember, the superpixel is very fluid. It goes from the, the minute to the, to the infinite. So we can have a load of superpixels just changing on the time, so everything else stays the same. So whatever you see changing any of them, there's always going to be a different time signature. See what I mean? On the vibrations, where they are on the scale, all these nine archangels that are dancing, all these energy levels, all of these neural nets, all of these sensory inputs, where well, you get a sensory input and a personality output is the basic thing if you like to understand. So you start off with the focus and then everybody else pushing you on that focus. So we have an input of sensory information, an energy input, and then we have an energy output of the personality. A sense, I don't like that smell, you know, disgust, or even, you know, whatever. If it, with smell, obviously, what we want to be diplomatic, sort of like these smells, we've got to get him out of here or something. We don't want this, that smell in, in here, whatever it is. So we get this flow of energy, and then we get a build up. So remember, a point. The point moves and becomes a line, the line moves and becomes a face, a surface, the two-dimensional surface moves and becomes a three-dimensional, the three-dimensional moves and becomes a fourth-dimensional, the fourth-dimensional moves and we get the idea of ego, of vision, seeing that change, an ego, a self, passing through all those changes. From that idea of this ego, this individual, we feel that, that pressure with other objects, so we become, if you like, in touch with that flow of things. That flow of things become a rich, you know, a fixed pressure map, so we identify those as objects by a taste, sticking them in our mouth. They're, they, that flow of things under certain pressure and the, and the shape becomes a, a certain energy which is the eighth dimension, that certain energy is at a certain point and then moving a certain direction and this is the ninth dimension, actually what it is and where it is. That's it. You see, so the, the dimensions are built on top of one another and then on top of each dimension, each dimension is, is then built up. So you get the movement. From the movement, we get the idea of seeing that movement as a conscience, you know, learning from previous movements. And then we can determine the future movements, so we can judge perfectly. You know, 
people say catch the ball or, 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 or throw the ball or bowl the ball. You can learn the, the you know the, 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 the physical movements of seeing things. We can from that face we can become intuitive and read faces, we can be empathic, we can if you like put ourselves in someone else's place and feel that face, put that face on, imagine that face and understand the feelings that are connected with that. This, this again, you know, is back down to the actor. A lot of these things are acting. Is he just like pretending to be sincere, pretending to be real, isn't it? Now, but obviously, you know, what's the difference between being real and... It depends on the relationships, on the presence of the self. So from... From that movement, you get the idea of space. You know, we moved around, so there must be space, and that becomes the idea of fluid and the movement of the fluid. And from the movement of the fluid, we get the smell. We identify different places by their smell, and then we express that sensitivity to the smell to others. The outflow of energy is by being diplomatic. You know, in our home, being considerate and. <laughs> Making things smell nice for each other, if you like. In the body, this builds up into the organs of the water, the bladder, and the kidneys. So the kidneys are like the diplomat, they purify the atmosphere, they purify the fluid. And the, the bladder excretes the water, excretes the toxins, the, you know, the, the, the excess of concentrations of urea. And so we smell our home. In the womb, we remember, we basically smell urine. And so we identify our homes through the smell of urine and we mark our territory out through the smell of urine like a dog. Obviously we can keep ourselves clean and get rid of the smell, but that's basically what we do. We smell our home starting off with the smell of the urine in the room and then it becomes out into the home and gradually, you know, we we associate the home with you know with different smells, of of often obviously chemical smells. that way <coughs> endures to create the sound in the voice, you know, the pressure on the thyroid, you know, the, the intensity of, of, the, of the sound of vo uh, and the voice. We come on to hear the which is the ears hearing the sound. And this is our metal, you know, if you like the ring of the metal, the, the rigidity of the metal, and then the officer, you know, giving instructions, being officious, but being in giving instructions, being firm, you know, controlling, you know, timing, you know, right now, what, ready, steady, go, you know, do this, do that. This is the officer. And in the body, this becomes the lungs in terms of the voice, and then the, lar the large intestine, you know, the, you know which is the regularity of the bowel movements. So you've got the lungs, which is the rhythm, and the, and the large intestine, which is the regularity. So you've got the two aspects of the time. Here we come on to the vision, which is the eyes. We see the light, the vision, and so we become the observer. The seeing of that light creates that, if you like, the illusion that there's an observer. Because the observer is actually the self in that flow of the prana, the dark energy that's flowing through everything. So the light comes in and we see, and so from the light coming in we can choose various objects or patterns that are passing by. And we, if you like, we're judging for quality, we're selecting. 
and that's like the wishes of the heart, our dreams, our, you know, what, what we want. And then the, the, the small intestine is separating the sheep from the goats. That's the decision, the selection, the choice, the sense of superiority that the ego has. And always trying to see that perfect harmony, you know, the perfect arrangement, the perfect matching. Then we come on to the sixth dimension, the touch, the pressure. It becomes wood, the cell. So we get a touch and we get the gentleman, the hands, the gentleness. In the germination, the growing gentle. So we get the get the liver. The blue blood. The blue blood takes decisions. The blue blood is what takes decisions. Is what takes to choosing what you're going to collect, what you're going to buy, what you're going to pick up. And the the liver is where all the you know all the food, all the green vegetables are going. That's like the planning department. You know the the, the future storage that the liver does the future planning and what needs to be done, how much do we need to collect in the hunting, gathering, how much shopping do we need. This is in the hands of reaching out what we need. Obviously, obviously this can become a problem, but you, but you understand, you know, the basic thing of the, you know, of the touching of the objects, of it getting the food to taste. If you like, there's the volume that fills the plate, that gives us the heat, that creates the body. Uh, this creates the stomach and the spleen. The spleen accumulates blood and distributes it. So we accumulate food and distribute it. We accumulate a catalogue of objects and we distribute them. We arrange them down here again in, in the world, which is again is the actor, the, the actor is a posture. So it starts off with gravity, in response to gravity we adopt a certain posture, and from that posture in that position we are then able to, you know, use it as a leverage or move, move other objects and do work, perform deeds or, you know, do acrobatics or martial arts according to the kata, the position, according to the asana, on the mudra, you put your body and so your spirit into a certain ex expression, a certain meaning. 